Hey folks, thanks for clicking on the video. This is going to be a really quick one just about how to take a uh, use a drill bit and make any dot inlays that you'd like out of uh, uh, unconventional material. In this case I have a client asking me to use uh, deer antler. I've started by cutting the blank into uh, a section where I can have one flat purchase. This allows me to use a jeweler saw to cut it into smaller bits. The dots are going to be six millimeters in diameter, so the bits I'm cutting out really just have to have a six millimeter dot incorporated into it. There's no real other sizing. The lines are approximately eight millimeters apart, just to give myself a mill on either side for some wiggle room. And with the jeweler saw, I'm just trying to create one flat purchase point because the key to this is gluing the uh, cut piece onto the end of the drill bit. This idea could be used for really any material, uh, bone, antler, tusk, um, pen blanks, uh, and uh, little offcuts of wood. It's a really great way to utilize um, little scraps that might otherwise be discarded. Uh, I'll also note that I'm doing voiceover work for a reason. Uh, in most of the video I'm wearing a respirator mask so I don't breathe in this bone dust. Uh, highly recommend you do the same so you avoid any carcinogens. So here's the trick. Get some CA glue, some accelerator, and one of the little cuts. I'm doing a six millimeter dot, so I use a six millimeter drill bit. Now you wanna glue just a drab of CA glue onto the end of the drill bit, then apply the bone bit, one of the flattest surfaces, um, ideally onto the end of the bit. Um, the jeweler saw doesn't create a perfectly flat surface, but you just pick the best one possible and simply adhere that to the wet glue. The glue takes a little bit of time to dry and sometimes you need to reset it, but uh, you want to get a really good purchase because this bone is going to be flying against that little belt. So you want to have a really, really good uh, adherence to the shaft. Also worth to note, uh, you should do this on a drill bit that you don't mind getting a little wrecked around the edge. This doesn't destroy the bit, but there will be a couple of sparks flying as you're going to be getting it pretty darn close to that belt. You can use a little bit of accelerator to speed up the curing process for the CA glue. Now you want to make sure that this thing is on there. Um, it might seem like this piece is going to fly off, but it's actually surprising how well uh, this this uh, glue holds. Uh, so I'm going to shift myself over so that I'm running parallel with the uh, oscillating um, sander here. And now the key is to really keep the blank have at a little bit of a taper. Uh, to get started to get rid of most of the waste material. Um, what I'm really watching is that shadow between the drill bit shaft and the belt spinning around. Um, the white bone actually kind of helps because you can really see that shadow and you're slowly rotating the uh, blank against the belt dialing in that circular pattern mimicking the end of the drill bit which again is a six millimeter drill bit and you're making a six millimeter dot. You're really purchasing your hand against the deck of the sander, rotating it much like a, you're kind of trying to be a lathe essentially. And it takes only a few seconds and you can start to see that the bits already starting to guide that uh, bone from a obtuse piece of material into a workable dot that you can then use that uh, drill bit to then drill into your fingerboard. Now some sparks will fly again this isn't a perfect technique for um, you know maintaining your drill bit uh, integrity but uh, there you go you can see some flying off. Um, that means I'm getting pretty close. I'm using my index finger as you can see here to really feel the edges to know when I'm done. If there's still a bit of bone proud against the shaft of the drill bit, then I need to take off that edge a little bit more, but it really takes no time at all. Uh, use some pliers to snap off the dot from the shaft. Uh, it takes a little bit of strength, but uh, it comes off pretty easily. And there you have it, folks. This is a pretty easy technique that you can do on the fly to make dots out of really any material and utilize uh, some uh, stuff that would otherwise be considered scrap and turn it into something quite useful and beautiful. Thanks for watching, and I'll be sure to update you when the fretboard's all finished.